Hi everybody, my name is Barry. Thank you for joining this webinar entitled VLOOKUP for BI. We will introduce you to the syntax of VLOOKUP. We will discuss a scenario of a standalone use of the VLOOKUP function and introduce you to the BI capabilities of using it in combination with the IF function. So for a kickoff, let's look at the syntax that is associated with VLOOKUP. We are leveraging information that we know to find information that we don't know. So in this example here on our screen, we've identified Jamie. That is the person that we're looking for. And within the ordered area within the spreadsheet, in this case, A1 through C4, we've locked the environment we wish to look for the salesperson, Jamie. Third piece of the syntax, um, in this case, the number three, will look for the corresponding value in the third column of this table. And the final piece of the syntax we've designated as false. In other words, we are looking for the exact match to the value, in this case, to the person Jamie. So let's move from the syntax. Let's go look at an example. So here's a question. Jajit is a salesperson. What are the, what are the net sales uh, for him? So in this instance, what I've done is I've put in a VLOOKUP formula into cell C16. And again, we look at the syntax as we go through it. A16 is the person. We've defined the scale and the dimensions of the table we wish to look into. We've defined the column by the number, in this case, number three, which is net sales, for the value we wish to return. And we've also stated false because we want the exact number and not a number that is approximate to that. But if we combine this with the use, in this case, of an if function, we're then also able to provide a comparison between different salespeople, in this case, Javed versus Juno. So I've broken it up into three specific questions to help us show the comparison between the VLOOKUP and then ultimately using the if statement to make the comparison. So for Javed, pretty straightforward use of VLOOKUP. The value we're looking for, in this case, is the named person, the named salesperson. The array we're looking for, let's define that area. The value we wish to return is the net sales, so that'll be the third column. And we're looking for a specific value, not an approximation, so we want to use false as the limiter here. And there's our value. We'll repeat the same for Juno. So we now have the two values for both salespeople. What I can then do is leverage the if statement to say if one value is more than the other, Let's return a true statement, and let's return, oops, let's return a false statement. And here we go. And that's one way of doing it. What I've done is I've kind of separated it out into, here's the VLOOKUP part of the question answered, and here's the second part with the IF statement. I certainly have the option of combining those together to have an IF statement nested within that, having uh, VLOOKUPs for each one of these values. So in that case, what I would end up doing is I'd provide an if statement, and within here, I would repeat the areas that I was working in before. I would then bring in the comparison for the other VLOOKUP against Juno sales. Again, defining, defining Juno, defining the area that I wish to pull values from, third column to get net sales, then finally say false to get a specific value, and this time baking in at the end of the formula the two values that I would wish to return. In this case, the same value. So notice in the example above, We've leveraged the if statement as an output from the VLOOKUP. Second example, I've embedded the VLOOKUP search for information within the if statement. Either one of these solutions work, but they're just two different routes to get to the same destination. Thank you for watching this webinar entitled VLOOKUP for BI. We covered three main areas. We introduced the syntax to discuss the use of VLOOKUP. And we covered two scenarios of using VLOOKUP for BI purposes. One, VLOOKUP by itself. And the second was to use VLOOKUP in combination with an IF function.